Hi everyone, and welcome to the second episode of the Nothing to Alpha Cap series. Before we get started, if you're ever looking for some discounted Rocket League items and credits for much cheaper than the item shop, head over to RL Exchange. They offer the most reliable place to buy loads of different tradable items like Phoenix, White Dracos, and even Alpha Cap. They can deliver items to any platform and you can pay with loads of different payment methods. And with a 5 star Trustpilot rating, they are sure to have any items you could want. Check out RL Exchange from the link in the description and use code GUYS at checkout to get 3% off every purchase. So let's get into the first trade where I simply sell 3 of my non-crate exotics for 80 credits each. I know I can easily get more than this because later in the series I start selling them for 100 but I was being impatient and just wanted to claim my credits after that insane trade at the end of the first episode. You can also see I had a crated exotic in my inventory too. After an update last year, crate and non-crate exotics are now worth the same because you can now trade up normal exotics. But some people are still picky about only wanting non-crate ones, but the other exotic I have will sell for the same price. Next, I got a nice little trade where I got rid of that solar flare, which is very low demand, for a parallax which I got some much better offers for. I did have to add 30 credits, but the parallax is worth 50 more on the spreadsheet, so not too bad. But these cheap black markets are very hard to sell nowadays and I am going to avoid trading with these again for the rest of the series because it was honestly painful which I realised after the next few trades. I bought an Electroshock for 150 credits which I thought was good because it's 100 under minimum. But straight after I got it I realised this was a big mistake because this item does not sell at all and I wish I checked what everyone else was buying and selling these for before I listed the trade. You'll see later on in the series I literally settled for 20 credits profit on this item. But this next trade was actually a decent one. Someone offered me this chameleon one to one for my parallax despite it being worth 100 credits more on the spreadsheet. So I of course accepted this trade. Before we carry on I want to quickly announce that we'll be giving away a fire god and a dissolver to two different people once we hit 6500 subscribers so be sure to subscribe to be the first ones to know about any important market changes. This next trade is very basic, I just sold the exotic on for 80 credits. Nothing special really, just clearing the items in my inventory and soon you will see I get rid of some of those limited items too. And this next trade is another one I am not happy with but it did lead into me getting a pretty insane trade. I just bought a streamline for 90 credits which is 110 credits under minimum. My plan with this item was to include it in an item offer and that is exactly what I do. I used the streamline and the chameleon to buy a fennec. If you go off spreadsheet values I paid max price for this fennec but we all know fennecs are so much easier to sell and this is the first fennec of the series. The reason fennecs are so good to trade with is because they're a nice car and some people are willing to overpay to get it. You sometimes just have to be patient like I was. And you will see the outcome of this towards the end of this episode. Like I said earlier, I cleared some of those limiteds I got in an item overpay last episode and I'm actually surprised I got these trades. On the left I sold one of the decals for 10 credits and on the right I sold 6 of them for 60 credits, so 10 credits each. To find these trades I pretty much just listed them on our old garage and waited because it's just some extra profit if they do manage to sell. I still have a few more limiteds which I will continue listing to see if I get some more easy credits. And here is the insane trade I've been on about. For the Fennec I got some pretty bad offer of some random items with a couple exotics in there which wasn't something I was interested in. Then he said he would add a white sunray boost which on the spreadsheet is worth 1000 to 1200 credits so I instantly took the offer. And it just proves that people do want these Fennex and are willing to overpay. I probably didn't come across the most clever trader ever, he probably just thought he didn't use the boost and would rather have a new car. But this trade is at least double value for the Fennec depending on how much that sunray sells for because it isn't the easiest item to sell. However I know I can at least sell it for min price but because of the sweep assert I'm going to try and get maximum and see how that goes. So at the end of this episode I'm left with 210 credits, an electroshock which I'm trying to sell for 170 credits, a white sunray which I put down as a thousand but I think I can get more than that, two exotics which I'll sell for 200, two very rares which is 40, three imports which is 60, a big splash which is 30 and then the random limiteds. I value this at 1700 to 1800 credits compared to the last episode where we ended on 590 credits so some decent progress and I now want to look into buying some more expensive items to make more profit from each trade. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful please consider subscribing with notifications on and if you want to support us use code RLTPRICES in the item shop for some fried chicken and chips.